welcome to online lecture series in organic chemistry and in this video i am going to start the new chapter that is reactivity of metal complexes now before discussion of the reactivity of metal complexes first of all you must know the difference between organic reactions and inorganic reactions so comparison between organic reactions and inorganic re reactions so initially what are organic compounds and inorganic compounds so in organic compounds actually organic compounds are formed by the combination of carbon with few elements like oxygen hydrogen sulfur then phosphorus nitrogen halogens etc whereas inorganic compounds are formed by by much number of elements another important difference between organic compound and inorganic compounds are organic compounds involve covalent bonding whereas inorganic compounds involve ionic covalent as well as coordinate bonds then organic compounds are insoluble in water they have lower boiling and melting points and they are less reactive whereas inorganic compounds are soluble in water they have high boiling and melting points and comparatively they are more reactive and another important point is due to catenation tendency of carbon organic molecules are complicated with high molecular weight whereas inorganic molecules are comparatively simple and have less molecular weight except or organometallics and coordination compounds now what is the difference between organic reactions and inorganic reactions so most important thing is organic reactions are slow and require catalyst whereas inorganic reactions are fast comparatively fast then reactivity and course of reaction organic reaction depends upon functional group because in organic molecule there is a functional group and this functional group decides the reactivity of organic molecule whereas functional group is absent in the inorganic compounds and therefore their reactivity depends upon the properties of their elements then as i said most of the organic reactions are carried out in non aqueous solvents like carbon tetrachloride chloroform toluene ethyl acetate etc whereas inorganic reactions most of the inorganic reactions are carried out in aqueous medium that is in water medium then next important difference is organic reactions should be handled very carefully because of volatility of reactant molecules whereas no extra care is required to handle the inorganic reactions then organic reactions are explained on the basis of complicated mechanism whereas inorganic reactions can be explained with the help of simple mechanism and the examples of organic reactions are organic reactions includes nucleophilic or electrophilic substitution reactions elimination reaction addition reaction polymerization reaction etc whereas inorganic reactions include oxidation reduction acid base hydrolysis etc so this is about the comparison between organic reactions and inorganic reactions now next important point that we are going to discuss the types of reactions in metal complexes actually in metal complex metal is surrounded by different ligands and in octahedral metal complex coordination compound six ligands are surrounding the metal ion and the reactions of octahedral transition metal complexes can be broadly divided into three types that is substitution reactions redox reactions isomerization and racemization reactions so what are the substitution reactions the reactions of 
coordination compounds or complexes which include the replacement of one ligand by another ligand or one metal ion by another metal ion are called substitution reactions in substitution reaction or the reaction which involve a change in composition of coordination sphere without any permanent change in oxidation state oxidation state of metal atom these are called as substitution reactions so actually in substitution reaction there is a replacement of one ligand by other ligand or one metal ion by other metal ion for example here you can see when the pentamine bromo cobalt 3 ion when this metal ion comes in contact with water when water is added to this complex or when water reacts with the, this complex there is a substitution of bromide by h2o so they, this is the example of ligand substitution reaction whereas when ml6 allowed to react with another metal that is m dash then there is a substitution of one metal by other metal ion and we get m dash l6 one is ligand substitution other is metal substitution reaction so in this way substitution of ligand may occur or metal there is substitution of metal okay so this is first type that is substitution reactions ligand substitution reaction or metal substitution reactions now another type is redox reactions the reactions in which oxidation state of central metal changes with or without change in coordination sphere are called as redox reactions now redox reactions include electron transfer reactions for example redox reactions involving no net chemical change here for example sometimes hexacyano iron or ferrate hexacyano ferrate 2 it is converted into hexacyano fe3 ion so in this case actually oxidation state of iron changes from fe plus 2 to fe plus 3 only there is a change in oxidation state or oxidation number okay chemical change is not there another example is ircl6 3 minus changes to ircl6 2 minus here the oxidation st state of iridium changes from plus 3 to plus 4 so redox reaction involving no net chemical change only there is a change in oxidation state of metal ion or redox reactions involving a net chemical change for example sometimes there is a change in coordination sphere so here chromium it is attached to five nh3 ligands and one chloride ligand it changes to cr h2o6 so change this change involves the uh, change in or there is a redox process involved in it because there is a change in cr3 plus to cr2 plus at the same time there is a chemical change so pentamine chloro chromium 3 ion changes to hexaco chromium 2 ion so coordination sphere also changes in addition to change in the oxidation state so this is about the redox reactions so the reactions in which oxidation state of central metal ion changes with or without change in coordination sphere these are called as redox reactions sometimes there is a change in coordination sphere sometimes coordination sphere remains the same only oxidation state changes this is about the redox reaction and third type is isomerization and racemization reactions the reactions which involve 
structural changes are called isomerization and racemization reactions in these reactions actually there is an interconversion of geometrical isomers such a reaction in reaction there is cis isomer it is converted into trans isomer cis isomer it is converted into trans isomer so there is a interconversion of geometrical isomers such a reaction is called as isomerization or there is a interconversion of op optical isomers for example d isomer it is converted into l isomer optical isomer it is converted into optical isomers are inter uh, or there is interconversion of optical isomers so it is called as racemization racemization reaction and sometimes there is a interconversion of linkage isomers for example there is a interconversion of nitrito pentamine cobalt 3 ion into nitropentamine cobalt 3 ion so there is a interconversion of linkage isomers actually these are the linkage isomers of each other this also the in this case there is a change in isomerization or this reaction involves change in isomers one isomer gets converted into other isomer so these are the three types of reactions that is substitution reaction redox reaction and isomerization and racemization reaction